In this video, I'm going to teach you how you can set your app write functions to run on a set schedule using something called cron expressions. So what this means is you can simply give your function a schedule and this function can trigger without you ever having to manually execute it. It'll simply find that time and date that you set and it'll execute every single time. So there's plenty of use cases for something like this. And I imagine you probably already have some ideas of how you can use it, but just to give you a few, you can always create these functions to set some kind of daily reminders. Maybe you need to check if there's any important events every morning, any birthdays that you missed. You can always set a function to run at, let's say 7 a.m. And then that function sends out a text message and you never forget about those important events. Uh, you can always run these functions at the end of the day. Let's say you need to perform some kind of uh, end of day report every single day. This function can run at 10 p.m. every single night and email you that specific report. So plenty of use cases. So let's go ahead and jump right in and see how we can actually schedule these functions. Okay, so within our AppRite console, we're gonna jump to the functions tab here. And the first thing we need is a function to actually be able to execute. So if you don't have a function, go ahead and create one. If you don't know how to create one, we've already did this in the last videos in this series. So so just go back one video and create this function and then we can go from there. So what's in the function? That doesn't matter. We're just focused on executing it. So we just want a simple function to execute. So we'll go into this node function that we created in that video and we can always go into this settings section. This is where we're going to set the function to run on a schedule. So we'll scroll down to the schedule section here and this is where we can write our cron expression. So a cron expression is simply a string that represents a schedule for a certain task to execute on. So we're gonna cover that in a second. We'll go in depth here, but for now, what I wanna do is just go ahead and schedule our function, test it, and then we'll talk about how to write out this cron expression. So what I'm gonna do here is just click on this link right here and there's gonna be a few examples inside of the AppWrite documentation. So if I scroll down here, we should see a section under schedule here, and these are our cron expressions. So if we wanna run a function every single 15 minutes, we can use this one once every hour, once every single day right here, and then once every single Monday. So let's go ahead and grab this one right here, and we're gonna change this to run every single minute. So we'll go ahead and just paste that in right here, and then to actually run this once a minute, let's go ahead and set it like that. So we have this star, forward slash, and then one. So that's gonna represent once every minute. So we'll go ahead and click update here. And from here, let's just go ahead and go into our executions tab. And let's go ahead and just bring in this clock right here. And we're gonna see this function execute once a minute. So what I'm gonna do here is just go ahead and let this run through. We'll fast forward this and then we'll actually see the output. Okay, so that looks good right there. Let's go ahead and check this out. So this function ran a few times here. So we see the function ran a few seconds ago. It ran a minute ago, two minutes ago, three minutes ago. So we had to execute a total of four times. So that's exactly what we wanted. We set it to run once a minute and that's when it executed on that schedule. And this will continue on for as long as that schedule is set. Okay, so before we end this video, I wanna teach you how we can write our own cron expressions and give you some examples of how you can work with them. So we're gonna use this link right here and this will be in the video description. So I would highly recommend you check it out. And we're gonna write some expressions here and these expressions can be copied and pasted into here once they're created. So right here is where we write the expression and here we'll see what that expression means. So to quickly summarize it, a cron expression is simply a string that represents a schedule for when a specific task should be executed on. And this string will represent five different characters separated by space. So let's look at the five characters. So down here, we can see that the first one right here represents a minute. So that's gonna be zero through 59. The next one represents an hour, so zero through 23. And then the day of the month, which is one through 31. The day of the year here, so one through 12, or the month of the year. And then the day of the week, which is zero through six. So let's just test this out. And this is really the way to learn it is by simply looking at these examples and writing out expressions and trying to make something happen with it. So just go ahead and test this out and we'll see the output. So let's say we wanna execute a function every five minutes. So if we go ahead and do star forward slash five, this is gonna execute every five minutes. Now, the reason why we're seeing this execute every minute right here is because these are something called wildcard characters. So that means this function will run every single minute, every single hour, every single day of the month, every month, every single day of the week. So let's say we wanna run a function once at 8 a.m. every single Monday. So what we could do is go to the day of the week, so that's the fifth character right here, and we can say Monday is gonna be one. So if Sunday is zero, Monday is gonna be one, so every minute only on Monday. Well, we don't want it to execute every minute, 
we want it to execute on the first minute of the hour. So we'll just say zero. So every hour only on Monday, but I want it to execute at 8 a.m. on a Monday. So we can go to the hour handle here or hour character, and we can just go ahead and set that to eight. So at 8 a.m. only on a Monday, this will run. So we can always just go ahead and take this and bring this into this cron expression and update it. So that's it for the cron expressions. Again, I would highly recommend you check out this link. Go ahead and just start practicing with it. Think of a time frame that you would need to work within, and then just go ahead and just do some research on how you can actually put this together. And this is a great tool for actually seeing that output.